friends welcome back to junk journal gems my name is lisa i don't know if this is a new idea if anybody has ever done this i just thought i'd turn the camera on and bring you along with me so we could play together i'm going to take um let's start with this size envelope just because i feel like this is what's in my head i want to make a tag pocket that also we can put a tag in behind. So what I mean by that is the envelope will be a tag that has a pocket and then we can also put it into a pocket. I hope that made sense. If not, stay tuned and it will eventually make sense. Some of my scrapbook papers that go with the color scheme that I'm looking to accomplish. So this is going to go into the new journal project that we started, the male inspired journal. So this is the color scheme. And guess what? It goes with the, um, the cash register receipt papers that we made in the last video. And of course, they also go with the blueprints nicely. I just want to make this pretty eclectic. Maybe I'll start with this one. So this is already glued shut. Thank you. That, that made things easy, didn't it? And I'm just going to make sure that these are glued down as well. So nothing is coming apart. Oh, the ends are sealed up good. Is that down? No, not enough. Okay. Then, as far as the pocket goes, what we can do is just snip off the top of this. And now, we're just going to Punch a little thumb spot in here. There we go. That just kind of lets me see what I'm working with here. So I want to start with this paper, I think, as a background. Do I want it as the whole background, though? I think I do. Let's just try it. It's just one envelope. Goodness knows I've got plenty others. If it doesn't work out, then whoop de doo Let's just start another one. I hope you're all having a great day. Filming this on Monday evening. Had a really good, busy day at work today. Got some things accomplished I wanted to, so that was good. It's always good to end your work day feeling like, whew, I accomplished something today, because that's not the case every day. Sometimes other things kind of take over your plans. Oh, dogs are acting up together. Girls, what you doing? Why don't you come in here where you can't get in trouble? Okay, let's cut this off then. Pearl likes picking on Cookie to see if she can get her moving so she can chase her. Cookie's an elderly dog, so she doesn't appreciate that kind of activity. They're like kids. Why can't they just get along? Then let's take one of these and <clears throat> maybe a little bit of this. How do I want to do that? I 
We had such a nice rain today. Oh my goodness. Very much needed. So happy for it. rained all morning. I'm trying to remember about when the rain stopped today. I'm so busy I didn't really pay attention. Maybe about noonish, midday. So that was really good can tell my flowers are already happy to have some of Mother Nature's water versus what I provide it. That is cool. See what I mean about this stuff? I love it. Let's go like that, but there's my tear ruler. to put on it. I've been giving some thought to, oh my, I was afraid that was going to happen. A little miss miss. You see um, deer outside. That'd be kind of cool. This might be kind of cool, too. But yeah, I need some different ephemera storage and I am not a fan of making these books, but as you can tell, Something is long overdue. So I'm going to have to break down and do it one of these days. And I don't know. Just not feeling it. I think the bigger one. My husband and I were laughing. We had the news on earlier. He went to go to the grocery store, but before he left, we had the news on for a while. And <laughs> we caught ourselves talking like our parents did when we were kids and saying, oh my gosh, what's the world coming to? Things aren't what they used to be. And I thought, oh goodness. I remember my parents or my friend's parents saying things like that. And, oh, hold on, I am gonna have to go tend to a dog. All right, I'm back. She was barking, there was a lot of activity in the backyard. She was barking at, there were two bucks back there and crows. She doesn't like crows being in the yard, so. My goodness, can't be having crows in the yard. That's kind of cool. Or baseball. I'm gonna go with the baseball one. Kinda neat. This is an image of a old cigarette card baseball there 
So there is the packet front. Let me repunch my di divot in here. And then on the back is where I wanted to put some of this paper for writing. Do I want to go that way? And that might be kind of fun. This is just too ordinary for my brain. I feel like going like this. That's what I'm going to do. No sense in being ordinary when you can be extraordinary. There we go, there's that side. Lost my card. All right, let's cut that part out. That's fun. I might make about a million of these. Found a new favorite thing. <laughs> Now, let's make the tag that goes inside this. Got to ink it up a little bit. That's just what we do, or what I do. The, um, the deer that were in the backyard or in the backyard of the neighbor who is building the house. And I was kidding them like, no, you can't build there because the deer <laughs> hang out in your yard all the time. Okay, let's see if I can find a piece of cardstock that would make a nice size tag for in there. As I was looking at this one, look at that. I couldn't be more perfect if I tried. Where did I? look at me my husband went to the grocery store for me and to pick up my medication I should be cleaning I just couldn't because I had to get this idea out of my head so this will be the back of the card I want to like that and then on the front you can do something similar to what we did here maybe what we'll do is to tie it all together. How do I want to do that? I think this time to pull it together, I'll do this color. Or would it look better with this? Ooh, that's cool. Let's do that. Let's do it with these colors here. ticket. And I may sew around these later.
It would be, my desk is an awful mess right now. It would just be too difficult to do that on camera. Sometimes it would be nice to have a setup where I could just somehow easily flip from one to the other. It's going to be fun, isn't it? I'm just going to clean up the top of this. There. Where did that go? Okay, then on this one, we can bring the blue back in. I'll bring this over so you can see what I'm up to here. <coughs> So here, we can bring the blue back in. I'm going like that. I think I'll do it like this. I like that raw edge down there. I like how eclectic this journal is kind of coming out to be. This kind of makes it extra fun. down. I feel like, where's the other one? <clears throat> and put a bit of this on. these blue labels. So if I have this, I feel like I need a rounder one. Well, that's round. That's a little too round. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not... What about this one? Maybe. No. Why am I being so difficult? I know what it might be partly. I just don't do well with very straight edges. <laughs> as weird as that may be. Just I'm not about the straight edge. It needs to be roughed up a little bit. This guy. Emphasis on the maybe. Not feeling entirely like it. Let's 
see if there's something interesting in here. That's a little big. Come on. There's got to be a good... Ooh. What about this image? appearance of it. So we'll take Mr. Man out of there. I feel like I'm so close, but something's off. There. Yep. I don't even feel the need to ink. Wow, that's a rarity. The log cabin. Reminds me of my grandpa. He actually built a log cabin that he and my grandma had when I was a little kid up north. We'd go up north and one of my fondest childhood memories is going up with grandma and grandpa to the cottage and fishing. And I caught <laughs> so many fish. My grandpa and my dad were just busy putting worms on, taking fish off of my hook. I don't think they hardly got to do any fishing, but my gosh, I had a ball. So much so. I think, golly, well, given where we were living at the time, I was probably four, no more than five, that's for sure. But I still remember that trip so vividly. My grandparents were fabulous, like the perfect grandparents. I was very lucky with all of the great grandparents and grandparents that I was fortunate to know. One of the advantages when your parents have you as young parents, you oftentimes get to know your grandparents where other people don't necessarily. And I was one of the fortunate ones to know a great number of my grandparents and great-grandparents and it was a treasure just absolutely fabulous two of my great-grandmas would babysit me once in a while and I can say that uh, let's see and I think we'll be able to find a tab in here that should go well oh here we go here's one that's wood looking that couldn't be more perfect I didn't look at the time again you guys Oh, and when will I ever learn? I'm going to have to put a sign on my craft desk or something saying, look at the clock. That 
is cool. I really like these. Look how nicely they match together. You know what, I might, yeah, I'm gonna shave this down a little bit. I should have checked that before I inked. But it's just a hair tight. Whoever uses the journal to get frustrated with it. There. sticking on something. No, I shouldn't be. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. I absolutely love that. So fun. So you've got your tag inside that you can write on. Slip it in the pocket. And then you can write on the back of the tag pocket and then we can make a pocket for this to go into so let's grab another envelope here comes the whole stack I was wondering about I was kind of hoping I could find one with an, a window when I need to eyeball them this is what I do Ooh, this might be one Yep, that one's perfect, okay. So this one will be the pocket. I'm thinking about how I want to do this. I kind of like to be able to see this through a window. Well, again, like I said before, it's just an envelope. Let's just try it. Glue that down so we don't have the flap flippity flopping. So if this is like this, it doesn't have to be in the whole thing. Some of it can peek out. So let's cut this like so. And we can use this for a pocket. But I want it open on this end. I do, I do. So I, I hope through this, oh, the reason why I like to sometimes figure these things out while you're watching is so that you're encouraged to try different things. And if you've got an idea or the start of an idea, give it a try. Um, it's just paper. It is just paper. And where there is paper, you can get more. Let's make sure it fits. And it does, and it does. Okay, so let's decorate this. Oh, I made a squeaky squeak. What do I wanna decorate with this time? 
This is some of that transportation paper that I was playing with in the last, was it the last video or the video before that? I don't know. But this will be fun. Nice and grungy. Top of it is a little obnoxious though. I'm going to do that. We'll do it like this. Where's the... Let's see how this goes. love the color of this. It's so fun. And I am not going to waste a bit of this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Very cool. There, where's my, um, I buried the card. There's another. There's that. And then I want to bring in a little bit of the blue, but a little more of the rust. I think I'll bring blue along there. We don't need much though, do we? My 
husband was supposed to have a golf lesson tonight, but with the rain, it's it's too wet. And I guess the golf course had an event or something going on. Um, so he, they weren't able to go tonight, but he needs to <laughs> straighten up his golf swing because he, he doesn't tend to hit the ball straight. So he, a young man that we know, <coughs> is, <coughs> pardon me, is going to help Rod later this week straighten up his golf swing because it is a golf outing, a fundraiser for the wrestling team where our youngest son um, goes to school. Those guys are all going to play golf. Okay, now that's cool. Do I like that one or... No, I like that one. I'm gonna have to cut off just a little skosh of the, uh, the rim of this. I'm hoping that will be enough. And it is. It doesn't get more perfect than that. This is gonna take some art glitter glue. Very nice, very nice, I just love it. And then let's make another little divot. I lost my punch, here it is. And I even like that it's got that grungy background there. Well, I got too wimpy about it. There we go, better. Better, better. deal looks like tag in a pocket which is also a tag pocket tag in a pocket we could really go weird and make this a tag too <laughs> but no this will this will go down on a on a page then I love it I love it Okay, let me see how much time we have. Let's try another. <clears throat> this one might be lighter. Yep. So this will be the tag. Hmm. And this would be the pocket. Yeah, okay. This is the tag pocket. I'm talking myself through this, and this will be the pocket pocket. And then we'll make another tag. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's messing with my head. I gotta get rid of this. Let's see what we can do here. Boy, that 
it just doesn't want to stay down. I don't know what it is, but sometimes when you coffee dye things, it must like dehydrate the the paper because then it just will sometimes soak up the moisture from the glue. And that's what's happened here. Not that it's not fixable, it totally is. You just have to play around with it a little bit. of this should I cut off of the top because that is pretty tall. Here's the height of a signature. What if we make this one sideways? Let's try that. So if this is in a pocket, let's make the pocket first. do the same thing. Okay, so if this is the pocket on a page. <clears throat> like if I wanted to put it here, I would want the pocket to be about there. And then about there. And then this would be just right at the top of that. Okay. Another pocket that we can play with. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Just trying to think if I want it any shorter. I think that'll be okay. be good. Okay, so then, now let's take this and cut it off. This is the pocket tag. <laughs> We've got another pocket. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how do I want to decorate this one, and I'm feeling like I want to go a little different. I'm going to go into my ephemera bits. Ooh, here's a pretty image of...
This is out of the Harper's Bazaar. One of the pages that my dog got into and upset me. side of the H. Chasing it off the glue book. Love the color of that. Let's find some more. Let's. Get this back out. Was just way too perfect before. So just on the inside of this line. crafting along on this project with me. I'm having way too much fun to be doing this myself. Pearl, I hear you licking again. Yeah, talking to you, girl. And let's search in my mini scraps and see what we find in here. stock but that might be kind of cool this piece of cardstock is from Tim Holtz paper the same up above maybe 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 I do just goes away too good to not yep I don't worry about perfectly meeting around the circles especially when I'm doing something that's a little grungy once in a blue moon I'll try to do it precisely but depends on the kind of journal that I am working on. Okay. 
I'm going to do the back of this quick. And I spotted something earlier on my desk. I'll use this. And I still like it this way better. I can't tell you why. I just do. I just do. And maybe what we'll do in this one is rip some of the edges. to know where to rip it. like I have everything under the sun out on my desk and I don't craft well that way I know some people do but it's like I need everything here but it just I find it so distracting whoops that was a big glue glob here's one too my goodness I'm getting carried away And then I did it the wrong way, but did you see me doing that after I just said that I wanted it to go sideways? It's okay. I love that crunch. Yum. Okay. My card stack is here. Here's another piece of the same that fits in perfectly. And we will cut it down to, do I want it to stick out? I'm going to cut it down to right there. If I can find my trimmer. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know where that came from all of a sudden. Ooh, there's that noise again. Now on this, let's try. Some of this. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Annual report of coal production. Let's take that. staring at me, huh? And actually, let's do this.
that'll be the background then. fun. That is fun. And then let's see. Let's find a snazzy bird that'll go on there. And I remember thinking other times when I've gone through my birds that I had some that just seemed more masculine like this guy, but I don't want to cut its whole tail off. Who else is floating around in here? Here's some. Ooh, that's a big eagle. What did they call that kind of eagle? Um, is it bad if I cut his tail off? <laughs> this guy's kind of fun, but he's a little skinnier than I want. You guys are too small. What else we find? There's another eagle. It's too small. I really like this. Oh, what's this guy? Ooh. He's a vulture. Or is he a condor? What's he? What do you guys think? Maybe we'll keep that guy for the pocket. Okay, I found a bird that I like on this a little better, and I want to get my little my little package of trims out again, and we'll use some of what we used before. I feel like I'm taking forever on this. I need to speed myself up a little bit. I need to get it in gear. Spending too much time thinking. Okay, so we're gonna glue these down first. We could also do these little cigar bands across. Do I like that or that? I like the dark. We'll do one of the cigar bands. I'll compromise with myself. <laughs> or do I wanna go this way? Well, that's kind of cool. Let's do that. Pearl, leave Cookie alone. Pearl, leave it. must be getting bored with my crafting. So let's cut a little dab off of this. And then we'll 
glue our little friend on. I knew these guys would come in handy someday. There's a point where I debated tossing them. I'm glad I didn't because I kind of think it's somewhat comical on this particular project. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to round the corners. Maybe more than that. Vintage photo. And we need a tab. I think this tab. kind of cool because that'll play off of that and that. This will go in here. And our bird shows through there, but that kind of cracks me up. All right, and then let's find. I, don't, I think that's all that needs. That doesn't happen often. Go like that. There's that. And then this still fits. Keep your fingers crossed in our pocket. Yes. And what do we want to decorate this with? Let's see. Let's do more of this as the background. that on. Yeah, we'll use this big fella here. We can put, go like that. I'm gonna cut a little edge off of Joe Schmo here. And 
ink a little bit on him. Yeah, that just shows up better, doesn't it? There, and then I want to put a stamp here. There's a little gold here, so it'd be fun to find something with a little yellow or gold in it. I like that. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Let's put him down first. Put Big Bird down. Whoops. Glued my hand. Never gotten that edge very well. Okay, then let's cut the tail off. Look away. If that disturbs you, let's glue that edge down. Let's do a little divot. Well, we can do a bigger one than that. That was a wimpy divot. There. And we'll do a little ink. the pocket that the tag pocket goes into. I'm, I'm hooked on these. I am so hooked on these. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just having a ball making them. I hope that you find this fun enough to give it a try. Let me know in the comments below. And also, of course, as always, click thumbs up if you like what you see and um, subscribe to the channel so you're notified of upcoming videos. You can also hit the little bell so you do get the notifications. In the meantime, until we see each other again, have a great day.